and welcome back to Get The Gloss. Today I'm going to talk about BB creams. BB creams have got a real name for themselves within the beauty industry. Now there are tons and tons and tons of them. Every single brand has a BB cream. There are even BB creams for nails now, BB creams for hair, which to me, to be honest, doesn't quite make sense because it stands for blemish balm. So I find all that a little bit weird. People are just using it in the sense that it's a product that sort of perfects you a little bit, whether it's for hair, nails, whatever. Uh, but I don't find it makes sense for um, hair and nails. It does make sense for skin, however. And what people don't really know is that BB creams, first of all, originated in Asia. Um, and in Asia, people can be prone to pigmentation. So blemish balm doesn't actually stand for blemishes as in spots. Originally, they were created to target pigmentation, to actually sort of even the skin out. That is, that is primarily their aim. But they are also infused with lots and lots of different amazing ingredients and to generally create a really great glow. Um, and I guess the difference between them and a normal tinted moisturiser is all these great additions that people are packing into them to make them uh, more effective than a normal tinted moisturiser. Um, so I wanted to share with you the ones that I love the most um, and I've tested quite a few. First up, not necessarily my favourite but it's one of my favourite three. Uh, as you can see, because it is used and squashed, um, is Estee Lauder's Daywear BB Cream. Uh, antioxidant Beauty Benefit Cream SPF 35. And that's another thing, they all normally contain a really high SPF probably because they originated from Asia. Um, this one is in light and basically you can wear a BB cream on top of your normal skincare. I would wear it a bit like foundation because I hate looking caked in foundation. I like my skin to look quite real and not masked. So that's really why I love BB creams as well because they are very um, sheer. So if you have sort of acne prone skin, they're probably not the product for you because they have a real sheerness to them and you would then have to cover up spots and things much more on top with a concealer. But generally, use your normal skincare routine, your moisturiser and then your BB cream. Some people actually might find if you've got greasy or greasy prone or slightly combination skin, you might not want to wear a moisturiser, especially in summer, you might just want to put this on because it has moisturising benefits in it. Uh, I'll just show you on my hand how sheer it is. You can see that. I really like this product because it creates a real sort of glow to skin, but it evens it out at the same time, gives it a slightly poreless effect. Um, so I really like that. That's a fantastic one. Um, and I'd love to hear your recommendations of the BB creams you like as well, because some of them are and also the ones you dislike, because some of the ones I've tried are not great. Some don't work into the skin properly, etc. Um, for a relatively inexpensive choice, Garnier have brought out the most brilliant BB cream. And I'll be honest with you, this was one of the first, and it's still one of the best ones on the market. Uh, it's called Miracle Skin Perfector Daily All-in-One BB Cream. And yeah, I think, um, we'll put the price below this um, vlog, but I believe it's about six pounds, I believe. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think so. Now this one feels a bit lighter than the Estee Lauder one, but again, it's very sheer, smooths out imperfections, and allows your skin to sort of radiate through. So yeah, that does look very sheer and glowy. And none of them have like a really heavy fragrance, so, um, they feel like they're quite good for your skin at the same time. They don't feel like you're packing loads and loads of stuff onto your skin. Uh, number three that I absolutely love, which I discovered recently when I went to a presentation by the amazing makeup artist Wendy Rowe, is this Fresh Glow BB Cream by Burberry. Now, Burberry makeup is actually really, really wonderful. And this is called Luminous Skin Perfecting Beauty Balm. And that has an SPF 20. Um, so this one, let me try it on this hand. Let me try it here. But there's something about this one that might make it my favourite. 
I don't, I, I, it's hard to say what it is, but it has, it instantly glides into the skin and leaves and sort of disappears into the skin, yet totally um, evens skin out a little bit as well. Um, so you basically don't have to work it into the skin very much. You don't have to be an expert applying makeup. You really don't have to be an expert applying these BB creams at all, by the way. But this one, this Burberry one, for me, is I think one of the most um, foolproof BB creams there are on the market. So I really do like that one. And um, just finally, I wanted to mention this. It's not actually a, considered a BB cream, but it's called By Terry. Uh, Auto Radiant Tinted Serum Hydra Bronzing Sun Glow. Quite a mouthful. Um, available at Space NK, I believe. And basically, for this time of year, this is an amazing product for if you don't want to wear a heavy foundation, but you want to wear something light and you want a little bit of bronze on your skin, this is amazing. Um, also, smells absolutely divine. All the By Terry products smell divine. It's a brown liquid with a sort of luminescence in it um, but not too much luminescence that you look like you're wearing something on your skin and you apply it to moisturised skin um, and it leaves a veil of a very very light bronzy glow and again slightly very very slightly it hardly masks anything at all um, but it slightly um, evens the skin out it's a really, really beautiful product. It says it's actually a sun glow activator and extender. So it's perfect for this time of year if you want to keep that glow from your summer holiday. Um, so that's it. But I'd love to hear your recommendations, especially about BB creams, because everyone is talking about them and they have been for a couple of years. But many people like a different one. So those are my three favourites. Um, I'd be grateful if you could tell me yours. Thanks, bye.